Joanne, please, we can work this out. Can't you get it through your head? I don't want this to work out. Okay, okay, maybe you don't love me right now. Gail, I never loved you. Joanne, we had a relationship. No, you had a relationship. We had a week at your uncle's beach house. For a week at the beach, I'd have a relationship with your uncle. Joanne. Goodbye, Gail. Joanne, you can't just go off like this with some guy you met in a car wash. You don't know anything about him. I know everything I have to know about him. He drives a Mercedes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I need a ticket for this cruise. Who do I see? Oh, sir, I'm sorry. We're completely booked. Are you sure? Maybe there's a cancellation. People do that all the time. They make reservations and they don't show up. Well, yes, I know, sir. But on our cruises, all passengers pay in advance in full. If they're alive, they show up. Oh, well, maybe somebody died. <laughs> uh, would you check for me, please? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. You're in luck. Somebody died? <laughs> no, I canceled. But I'm afraid you can't have it. Why? I'm a nice person. I know how to act on a ship. I won't make a nuisance of myself. I won't eat with my hands. I'm sure you won't, sir. Then sell me a ticket. I can't. You're a man. What's wrong with being a man? Nothing, sir. I happen to be of the male persuasion myself. But these particular accommodations involve sharing a cabin with another passenger. And she happens to be a woman, which means we have to sell the space to another woman. All right, oh, look, I understand. But now let me what ask you something. What if, what, sir, hold on, what, what, what if, what if, sir? Company policy. We do provide entertainment, but only in the public rooms. <laughs> I had to be a man. You want to trade? Young lady, Miss Riley. A man wanted this space, but I couldn't sell it to him. Just be thankful you're a woman. Oh, I am, believe me. I enjoy being a girl. <laughs> I bet you the boys enjoy it, too. Only if I let them. <laughs> be still, my foolish heart. supposed to be staying here. Oh. oh. <laughs> of course, I could always come back later. <laughs> <laughs> or I could find another room. No, 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 it's not you. How do you do? My name is Susan Ridgely. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Dale, Dale Riley. Dale. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm acting this way. It's just that uh, this, uh, this, this is my honeymoon. <laughs> Shouldn't there be somebody else here? <laughs> yes, Jerry. But he didn't show up for the honeymoon. He didn't even show up for the wedding. He didn't go to his own wedding? No. <laughs> I can't believe that. We waited for two hours. All the candles burnt down. And the organist was playing request. Oh, that's awful. Uh, but I'm sure there must be an explanation. There is. Hmm. On his way to the wedding? Yeah. 
He stopped off to pick up his tuxedo. Mm -hmm. And he ran off with the girl who rented it to him. <laughs> See, I told you there was an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man is an idiot. I know. But I love him. I can't live without him. No matter what lousy thing he does to me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> you do? Sure. You see, I was sort of jilted myself. What's his name? Joanne. <laughs> Joanne, so I know what you mean. Oh. Well, I guess you and I have a lot in common. Yeah, we're both just a couple of lovesick girls. What are you doing? I'm gonna take a shower. Here? <laughs> no, silly. In the bathroom. but there's no Joanne Dressen on my passenger list. Well, she's probably using his name. She's using his name? Well, I mean, she's with a man, uh, Peter something, uh, another P, I think, like Piper. You don't have any Peter Pipers, do you? I have a Peter Pringle. That's it, Peter Pringle. Pick to peck a peppered shingles? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Pringle, Mr. and Mrs., that's cabin E214. 214, thanks. By the way, they're not Mr. and Mrs. Don't you have some kind of a rule about that? No, not unless one of them complains. <laughs> It's awful hard, boy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. That's a linen closet. Oh, 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 yes, I know, silly me. I, I thought it was the powder room. Yes, but uh, it says linen. Oh, yes, but when I'm in a hurry for the ladies' restroom, I don't have time to read. You know how we girls are, excuse me. Oh, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> but I must say, it's refreshing to find a young lady these days who'll admit it. Yes. <coughs> Isn't it a crime these days, what they're doing to the sexes? There is a... If things keep going on like this, we could all end up just one big sex. Mm. Better than no sex at all. <laughs> I hope we'll see each other again soon. Well, I don't know. It's such a big ship and uh, all. <laughs> not when you're the captain. <laughs> Up with that redhead. On the last night of the cruise, maybe. Not yet. Yeah. Oh! I'll let you do that. Thank you. Uh, we'd like a nice French red wine, please. Something a little bubbly. Thank you. I shouldn't have come. I mean, it's crazy. A honeymoon for one. Look on the bright side. When you get home, you'll be well-rested. <laughs> Jerry was always unpredictable. We were at a drive-in movie once, and I went to the snack bar. But when I got back, the girl from the box office was in the car with him. Can you imagine? I had to stand there eating buttered popcorn till the movie was over. <laughs> when you love someone, you do dumb things. Degrading things. Tell me about it. <laughs> You know them? No. I think he's beautiful. Maybe a little too beautiful, if you know what I mean. No way. Straight arrow. What? You can tell by looking at him? I can tell by the way she's looking at him. It's the same way I used to look at Jerry.
How about that? She's warm for your form. I'd rather give my body to science. <laughs> Well, come on now, you'll find somebody else. <laughs> There's nobody in the world like Jenny. Oh, sweet Susan. What? <laughs> Don't you have a nightgown? It's supposed to be my honeymoon. I didn't think I'd need a nightgown. <laughs> Why are your eyes doing that? Hmm? Oh, that? Oh. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that's just a, a nervous condition. I'll get you a tranquilizer. No! That'll just make me more nervous. <laughs> sleep. I need sleep. Either that or a cold shower. <laughs> Look, honey, I've got to make a call. Uh, grab some rays, and then we'll go back to the cabin and uh, work up an appetite for lunch, huh? Mm. Oh, Peter, you're outrageous. Oh, I love it. <laughs> If you ask me, I think he's a bozo. Dear, what are you doing here? A friend of mine brought me. I'm having an affair with a 747. <laughs> Joanne, look, I don't care what you've done. I love you and I want you back. Dale. Please, you don't have to say anything. I, I forgive you. What in the name? I don't... I do forgive you. Running off with this guy, the do not disturb sign, working up an appetite for lunch, everything. I love you. And that's all that matters, love. You and me, together, forever and ever. Amen. Look, Dale. There never was any love, there never will be any love. Zero love, Dale. I don't love you. So what are you trying to tell me? Dale! You do love this guy? Who? Peter Dingle? Pringle. I don't know. Why does everything with you have to be love? Who says I love anybody? You know what I love? I love his Mercedes and not your jalopy. Goodbye, Dale. And I really mean it this time. Goodbye. It'd be easy. Just step up on the rail, jump and they'd never find my body. My mother would hate that. She wouldn't have anything to bury. <laughs> hey! Don't! Let me go! Why? Death is a lousy way to oh, live. I don't know anything about it. I know your mother would hate it. What? Both your parents. Death always makes them feel like failures. And over what? Some guy? It's not worth it. Look, I was just about to do the same thing myself over there. I know what I'm talking about. You were? Yes! And if you kill yourself, I couldn't kill myself. People would think I'm a copycat. <laughs> Let me put it another way. Have you ever dived off something this high before? No. Well, it's got to be 100 feet. You could kill yourself. You know, you're right. Yeah. I could kill myself. Yeah. So how about it, lady? You want to get down now? Yeah. Okay, can I give you a hand? Yes. <laughs> Love, yeah, but to her it was a week at my uncle's beach house. That's really cold. No colder than a guy leaving his bride at the altar while he tries on a tuxedo, not to mention the girl who rents it. Well, I guess we're both losers. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> you know, you haven't even told me your name. Dale. Dale Ra 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 Reinhardt. Dale? You're the second Dale I've met on this ship. Oh, my roommate's name is Dale. Susan, uh, we have to talk. Oh, I'd really love to, Dale. But I really should find Dale. Um, the other Dale. You see, I promised to meet her, and I don't want her worrying. She has a nervous condition. Uh-huh. Well, maybe we can talk over dinner. Oh, I... I already promised to have dinner with Dale number one. I'm sure she'd understand. But I'd feel terrible. You see, she's, um, sort of... not very attractive. Oh. How about after dinner? Oh, I'd like that. Yeah? Yeah. Nine o'clock? Great. All right. I'll see you then. Maybe even before. So there we were, Dale and I, soaking wet in the cabin. He had just saved my life. And suddenly, suddenly, it was as if Jerry never existed. Now, maybe this other Dale, um, 
maybe it's just that he was in the right place at the right time. Maybe that's why you think he's attractive. You do think he's attractive, don't you? Oh, yes. And kind and strong and... To tell you the truth, if I hadn't been afraid that you might walk in, I might have... I would have... You wouldn't have. I know that's not like me at all, but that's what I wanted to do. Oh. Yes. You're a woman. Well, I... I mean, we have feelings like that, too. Sometimes, when you see a total stranger, you know, like in the supermarket, and he really does something to you. But you're a woman, so you're not supposed to feel things like that, so you pretend he's not there. No matter how he makes you feel, you never do anything about it. You do something about it at a supermarket, they won't cash your checks anymore. <laughs> Dale, could you do something for me? Anything, anything. Tonight, do you think you could, um, find someplace else to sleep? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> you understand. Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost 9 o'clock. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you. Oh, thank you, Dale. Oh, oh. <laughs> no problem. Susan, if it'll make you happy, believe me, it'll make me happy. <laughs> Thanks. Miss Riley, yeah. you walked right past my table and didn't even say hello. Oh, Captain, I'm sorry. Now, you are not trying to ignore me, are you? What? Oh, Captain, I was looking for someone. Miss Riley, mm -hmm. I think it's time you and I got to know each other better. Excuse me, Julie? Yes. Yeah. Julie, I'm waiting for a passenger, a Mr. Dale Reinhardt, who's late. Would you by any chance know what cabin he's in? Well, I don't write offhand, but I can certainly check for you. I'll be right back. I appreciate you showing me the bridge in your office, Captain. Yes, this is where it all happens, Miss Riley. The buck stops here. Fascinating, but I do have to go. But you haven't seen any of my radar equipment. <laughs> How much can a girl take in one night? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Riley, mm -hmm. a man gets very lonely at sea. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> we must discuss it sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Can we discuss it tomorrow? Tomorrow's one of my favorite days. Uh, it might be one of my favorite <laughs> days. Uh, four bells, my office. Well, fine, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Somebody stole my clothes. <laughs> Damn. Oh, hi. I'm sorry I took so long, but there's no Mr. Reinhardt on the ship. It figures. You'd think I'd learn by now, wouldn't you? I mean, all men do is lead you on. They tell you things that they think you want to hear, and you can never believe anything they say. Do you know what? I bet that he wasn't even going to kill himself either. <laughs> Dale. He didn't show up. He didn't. No, you poor dear. I thought he was going to be different. He turns out to be just as rotten as the rest Not of us. Not him. Yes. He's a wonderful person. From what you've told me about him. <laughs> oh, come, Susan. Let me take you back to the cabin. Oh, Dale. What am I going to do? Shh. Nobody wants me. First Jerry. Now Dale. The other Dale. <laughs> oh, Dale. <laughs> oh, Dale. Oh, Dale. Hi. Hi. I'd like to book passage on this same cruise in two weeks. Certainly, sir. Well, you must have really enjoyed it. Uh, yes, we. I mean, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's funny. I try to meet all the passengers on the ship, and I don't seem to remember meeting you. Oh, well, I stayed in my cabin most of the time. 
Uh, that's a reservation for Mr. Uh, but, you know, you do look familiar to me. Looks familiar to me, too, sir. <gasps> yes. I, 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 are you sure we haven't met? Positive. But I do remember peeking out of my cabin one night and seeing you by the linen closet with a big redhead. <laughs> yes, yes, as, uh, as I said, uh, I try to meet everyone. That's a reservation for Mr. and Mrs. Dale Reinhardt. Oh, you're married? No, but I will be by then. I'll see you in two weeks. Bye! <laughs> Couldn't be. <laughs>